All right, so by now we, we've heard the story of you texting Sean Payton saying you know, he, he got to come to Denver. What inspired that? Um, well, we uh, we needed a coach, and um, and I knew a good one. So uh, I text uh, I text one in my contact, and you know obviously the, the story he told and the response was pretty funny, but. Um, they got him. So I uh, didn't know that was going to happen. I think it was a lot of uh, conversations, obviously, about what was happening, what wasn't. And uh, was just uh, happy, really, for the uh, Bronco fan base because they got to go. In. What, what separates Sean to make him one, one of the greats? Yeah, I think um, it, it, I think it's a few things, man. Just his offensive mind, right? His, uh, his pedigree and what he's been able to do uh, in New Orleans. The culture he's, uh, you know, brought to New Orleans. Um, you know, just what he's been able to do with multiple quarterbacks, like uh, all those things, I think, playing to him just being being the right guy. Somebody's going to hold you accountable, right? Just he's he has it, you know. And what did Sean say to you when he texted texted you back? Yeah, he said, um, be careful what you ask in Santa Claus. For. What does he mean by that? Because <laughs> it was around like Christmas yep. time. And I guess basically he was saying, OK, if that was my Christmas wish, then be careful what I'm asking Santa Claus for. He's just gonna like work you hard or something? Like, no, I mean, look, I, that's again, I, I would even say that's one of the reasons why I like Sean. Look, I'll oh. say this right now and then I haven't said it yet, but he had like, I got cut by the Saints and here I am still, uh, you know, vouching for a guy that uh, I have a lot of respect for. It, obviously that was the business side, right? But as a, as a coach, um, I know what he stands for. I know what he brings and, and uh, you know, I would gladly uh, play with him any day. Who on the offense should be the most excited about Sean Payton being the coach? I definitely think, I mean, it's hard not to say Russ. Yeah. Um, um, you know, as a quarterback and just knowing Russ, somebody who works really hard, um, you know, is a grinder, right? And, I th and, and he's looking for ways to continue to get better. He's a competitor. Sean is just that. And I think Sean is gonna, uh, you know, challenge him in, in some new ways that he hasn't been challenged before. And I think it's gonna be like special to see that relationship uh, grow and develop. What's Club Dub like? Club Dub, everything, man. That's a so that's that's something else y'all get look get look look forward to. Um, look, man, you work so hard during the week and uh, you know prep preparation, everything, right? To go into that one game and uh, when you lose, it's it's the worst feeling, right? Man, all this hard work for essentially nothing. When you win. We can't just, you know, walk away from that and get right back to it. For in, in Sean's mind, let's enjoy it right here in this locker room while we're here. Let's watch it on Monday or whatever, and then let's flip the, turn the page. So those moments in the locker room is what it's about. It's supposed to be fun. We're supposed to celebrate those wins, uh, but not linger on. So Club Dub will be happening in Denver, and hopefully a lot. After, after a win this year, you got your first game ball yeah. of your career. And you were 32 at the time, right? So yeah, that's thir crazy. Get your yeah. first at 32. Yeah, yeah. So I let me for the for the record, like I've gotten game balls, like um, call it on Wednesday, and I was like, oh, you yeah. know, he had a good game. But to be acknowledged after the game, locker room, hand me the football, that was the first time. So I just thought that was a cool experience to be embraced, you know, like you like you see it, you know, in uniform, full gear, fresh off a game, um, you know, that was special, but. Uh, the locker room really embraced me, Organi the organization really embraced me, so it was a special year even though the result wasn't what it, what it should have been. What do you think of Denver? I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. I love the organization, love the locker room, I really do, and uh, I really hope I'm back. I, I honestly say that, especially with, with a guy that I played under and I know what he, you know, I know what he stands for. You got to Denver in the middle of the season and by three weeks into your time in Denver, everyone loved you and you were, you were one of the favorites in the locker room. Oh, what is it that allowed you to, to become one of the guys so quickly? Um, I'm not sure, man. Just, uh, I think it's a laugh. Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it could have been, man. I don't know. Just, uh, them, uh, them embracing me, allowing me to be myself. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, look, I was, it was the opportunity, right? Like, I was sitting on the practice squad with the Saints and, you know, them, uh, you know, the Broncos organization coming and get me uh, to be a part of, you know, um, the solution, if you will. So, um, yeah, I think that was it, man. And uh, like I said, I think the locker room is very special in that way because it's not easy just to embrace a guy off the street. So, um, 
made a lot of relationships pretty fast uh, within the organization. That, that first handful of games when you started, you know, things weren't always clicking, but I think it was the last five or six games you averaged 5.2 yards per carry, I think it was. What what happened there? And like kind of yeah, the second man, half. I think just uh, I don't know. Just got got into a groove. I think I think our mentality as an offense was switching to like, hey, you know, I think we we can run the football. We we should lean on the run game a little bit more than we have. And I think when we started to develop that identity, I think that's when it started to show. And not just me, Marlon Mack, Chase, uh, Beatty. Um, yeah. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we pick up, you know, where we left off. If I'm still there again, right? That offense, like, prints 100-yard wide receiver games. Mm -hmm. It could be anyone. I think Sean was telling us earlier they, they had four undrafted guys get 100 yards or something at one point. Yeah. Um, why? What, what makes it so easy for wide receivers to succeed in that offense? In Sean's offense? Yep. Yeah, I think, um, well, uh, again, when, when you can win before the play, um, I think that's what you want, right? As a quarterback, that's what the greats do. Drew Brees, Tom Brady. Um, you know, when, 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 when they line up, they've beaten you before the play even started. And so it really doesn't matter, you know, maybe what you do because they know what's coming. And so I think, again, Sean is a, is a schematically an offensive mind, a great offensive mind that will put an offense in positions to succeed, let's call it, before the play. So um, that's hard to stop. You know, that's hard to stop. And so... Uh, I think that's why he's had the success he's had. Your backfield mate, as you texted Sean yeah. about Russ, you obviously, there's so much out there about Russ, especially this past year. You know him probably better than anyone over these past few months. Can you tell us something about Russ that we maybe don't know, yeah. something behind um, the scenes? I just think he's, um, I think he's misunderstood. I think, uh, for one, look, he's human and I think he hasn't uh, responded or reacted or talked, you know, uh, his, his responses aren't what people maybe have the expectations to be. And I think that's, uh, I don't think that's unfair, right? And I think it's all been heightened due to the lack of winning this year, right? But let, like, let's not forget, Russ is a winner. He's a Super Bowl winner. He's a, I believe, a future Hall of Famer. Um, and he will win again. And so um, I'm rooting for him. That's my guy. I've, I've really enjoyed getting to be his teammate, be a friend, become a friend. And, uh, and I think he's going to prove a lot of people wrong. I think um, I think it's, it's been challenging for him. His his integrity and his teammate, all that, been in question. And I think he's going to prove a lot of people wrong. This we, one, oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's a little bit off topic, but we had uh, Alex Singleton on this week, and as he was leaving, he said that next time my back was turned, he was going to tackle me. Um, <laughs> so I've been a little jumpy. I, I think I can get away. I was wondering if you have any tips. Like if he tries to tackle me, like how do I how do I break that tackle? How do I make him miss? Uh, low man wins. Low man. Okay, I'm. I've got that on. Low, I got yeah, that on. Started. Low man. Wait, wins. you're six foot three. Yeah, I mean a lot of times you see guys know to just go low. But if anybody was to stay high, tall and okay. high, then you're not going to stand a chance if you're higher than me. I'm already 6'3". Okay. So, yeah, it's easier for guys to go ahead and chop me down. But low man wins. How long did you go for the hurdle then? Me? Oh, not too much, bro. I'm too, I'm, too old, I'm too old for that now, too. But yeah. week 18 of your 32-year-old season, we're sitting there watching the game. And all of us were like, Latavius looks like extra fast today. Yeah, Did you know, feel man. extra fast in week 18? I feel great, man. Honestly, like it all, and that's what's so, you know, I guess funny sometimes even about the season, like it's a long season. Let's just be honest, some days, some weeks, we're human, you feel better than others, right? And so those days you feel good, you know it and, and you're on one, you know what I mean? You want the ball and you're gonna make something happen with it. All right, last thing, we've been asking all our guests this week, What's your favorite body of water? A river, a lake, or an ocean? I gotta go ocean. Let's go. Uh, all right, all right. My guy. All right, man. Enjoy waste management. Appreciate Thank it, you for man. the time. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Latavius. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Man.